Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Virgo for the first two weeks of March 2018. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Virgo. Let's see what's going on. You guys, please don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and to check the comment section for the blog because I'm doing a lot of writing about interpersonal relationships and conflicts. So you might find some information there that pleases you or that you find helpful. And also, don't forget that if you have any comments about the reading, you can go on the website that's listed in the comment section and you can enter your questions there. If you want a more detailed answer in the comment section in YouTube. So let's see where we are for, I split that four times, guys, <laughs> for Virgo. Interesting. Four times lit. Okay, the, the Virgo elemental sign in the first two weeks of March may be feeling a bit like they took a wrong turn and they would like to go back and make some redos. They may be finding themselves in a situation that they're not totally convinced about right now and wanting to kind of uh, return to conditions or place of the past, especially if they've relocated to a new location. I don't typically look at the bottom of the deck, but when I look, I always count it nine of swords. So feeling like they, they, they might want to go back to a situation that they've ended or that they've left. This is the three of wands. You know, maybe doubting about what's next, about what they should do next, about where do they go from here. Missing some old friends who they may not necessarily be in contact with and wanting to talk to them and reconnect also with older friends that they don't see as often as they used to in the past. So a bit of nostalgia. The verbal energy in the first two weeks of March 2018 is dealing with some nostalgia. Um, let's keep this one out because we wanted to jump and we'll look at this last to see what else is going on for that Virgo energy. Yeah, we have a major arcana death. We have the seven of coins. We have the eight of coins. This, this just looks like, what's next? Where do I go from here? Trying to consolidate ideas and experiences, uh, trying to consolidate uh, skills, uh, to tr try to figure out what's next. It also feels like uh, some job offers may be coming through for the Virgo who has been looking for a job, but it's more like they want to go back to a past situation. They're just not convinced about where they are, where they live, and maybe also lacking some friends that they have before. Physical contact with their friends. They're still maybe talking to them, but not as much as they were talking to them in the past, and they're missing them. So it's almost like the Virgo wants to return to some conditions from the past. So I would just like to pull a few more of these for confirmation. This is the thought of the deck. Sorry for that, guys. And let's see where we are, if anything else is coming through. We have the Queen of Swords two times, guys. So this is a quite serious in uh, energy in terms of taking command of planning for your own future. We have the Tower, and this is it feels like not wanting to. We have Major Arcana, the Hangman. And we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess. We have some really big energy for the Virgo in the first two weeks of March. It feels like a, a turning point for the Virgo energy in the first two weeks of March. Like they have this feeling like they have maybe some pressure to adapt to an environment that they do not really feel like they want to be in right now. And a bit like life or plans are 
at a standstill or at a halt. Things are not going exactly how they want right now. And they're not sure how to get out of this or how things will prevail, how their own desires will, will prevail. So the, the verbal energy in the first two weeks, and don't forget, it's just two weeks, guys. They may feel like they have to suppress their own desires and their own plans right now for practicality. So it's more like practicality and reality over fantasy. They're trying to be very practical now, being very practical and seeing and seeing success from this, seeing some success from this, especially if job offers are coming through or even meeting new people, but just not really being so excited because they're still a bit nostalgic for their past or people from their past or past places where they actually lived. And especially for Virgos who have relocated. So let's see if anything else is coming through. We have the Eight of Swords. So we're, we're, we're starting to get big time confirmations of the energy. We have the Queen of Wands, guys, three times now. I'm sorry, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, it's not Wands. Three times. Trying to be very practical about making plans for the future. This is the little page of wands. And sticking with it. But the Virgo is going to stick with it because they know that they're headed in a good direction. Maybe it's not as exciting as it has been in the past in terms of who was in their life and the things that they used to do. It seems a bit more mundane right now, but it's building, this is the tower. It's building a practical foundation because the Virgo already knows what it feels like to be in that tower situation, you know? And right now you're building life back up from this. So it is a certain amount of practicality required right now. But the Virgo may be feeling a bit nostalgic for past situations and past people, but they're going to get over it because they're trying to be very uh, practical. We have the Ten of Swords. New time, new period, new start. New time, new phase, new period, new start in life. It's it's starting over time. It's a new start. The Virgo has pressed the reset button and we have the five of earth. This is like the five of pentacles or the five of coins in the Rider Waite deck. And this card from the Symbolon deck is very similar energy of feeling a bit trapped. But it's more mental than anything else because positive Circumstances are developing, but the Virgo may be held right now by their own nostalgia for past situations, but it seems to me like you will overcome this uh, if you stay on course and you continue to do the work. It may feel like you're making sacrifices right now, but sometimes it's necessary in life to make some subtle, subtle sacrifices. I'm not talking about sacrifices in your belief system but some subtle sacrifices to achieve the success and the results that you would like to achieve for your future. Sometimes it takes uh, dedication or living in a location that you may not find exciting or having to leave people <clears throat> behind, excuse me, having to leave some people behind who were not that great for you or your life so that you can excel in your own personal self-growth and improve your own future. So that's what I have for Virgo for the first two weeks of March 2018. I hope I see you guys back here in two weeks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.